My name is Whitney Cal. I'm a certified coach, and it's a privilege and an honor to bring to you Kiran Krishnan, founder of Microbiome Labs. He has over 16 studies going on around the country. We're actually going to talk about one of those studies today. Kiran, you've traveled to over what? How many countries doing presentations to physicians all over the world, right? Yeah, at least a dozen or so countries. I speak at about 50 conferences a year um, on the topic of the microbiome and how the gut impacts overall health um, in, in uh, many different conditions. We're talking about skin conditions, cognitive issues, uh, immune conditions, metabolic, you know, weight management. All of these things are impacted by your gut and your microbiome. And so the most progressive and uh, forward-thinking physicians health practitioners are making sure that they're getting educated on the impact of the microbiome and all of these things so they can best serve their patients. Yeah, it's so important. And you know, I had a personal experience with your products as well, and I really believe in them and I take them myself. I've traveled and not gotten sick while other people have. I recently came across um, a friend who has a daughter who has acne, and I wanted to ask you some questions about that, and you happen to say you're doing a study currently on skincare. Will you tell me a little bit about the study, about what you've seen? It's not published yet, right? So this is exciting it, it, stuff. It is. Uh, this is. This will be groundbreaking, and in fact, it's being submitted for publication uh, this month to um, one of the major dermatology journals. Uh, what's exciting about it is what we were able to show uh, in, this is in a preliminary study, with, with, it's in the human clinical trial. Uh, what we're able to show is that you can actually change um, the number of acne lesions on the skin and have an impact on what the skin looks like by taking a probiotic that makes changes in your gut, right? So we didn't do anything to the skin directly. We didn't treat the skin with anything. We didn't put anything topical on it. Uh, we were just giving the subjects a probiotic, a probiotic that we know has an impact on the population of bacteria in the gut. And because we were able to make certain changes within the gut, those changes were then translated to the skin and you were able to measure it in terms of um, your sebum content. The sebum is that, is that little gland that that's, um, you know, makes that, that gooey stuff that we could squirt out when you have white heads and black heads and so on. So the amount of sebum in those glands is directly associated with the formation of acne lesions. We were able to bring down inflammation. Uh, we were able to change the hyd hydration on the skin. There was some observation of changing in wrinkle appearance. All of this stuff in 30 days by making an effect in the gut. So that was really quite profound. And we're in fact starting within the next two months a larger, longer version of that study just to further validate the results. Fantastic. So in 30 days, and you, you took different types of people with acne, all ages, was there a certain parameter? Um, they were fairly young people. So these were people, the average age was probably 21 or 22. Uh, this was in a, in a college uh, campus. So we had anyone from 18, the inclusion criteria, which, which is the age range that you would include in the study. The inclusion criteria was between 18 and I think 75, but uh, you know, most people suffering from acne are going to be in that you know, um, early, late teens, early 20s. So that's where most people fell into the category. category. Yeah. Okay, so 30 days, you did some studies. You found that the, using the, um, the products, and, and what products are they using? Are they exclusively using your one product? Because you have several products. I, I recently yep. learned you have a pre-probiotic. Yeah. Well, tell me a little bit about that, would you? Sure. So the product for this study was just the probiotics. So the probiotics called Megasporbiotic. So that's the main product that we developed six, seven years ago and, and has been in the market being used by doctors and health practitioners all over the world. Um, so that, that's the main one. That's the one that creates the biggest impact um, in a dysfunctional gut. And it's, and it's really clear now. It's becoming clear, at least. I, I could say that with strong confidence. But to me, somebody that's been digging into this area, it's becoming exceedingly clear that the gut is what dictates what your skin looks like, right? So that was the basis behind the initiation of the study was that if we can change things in the gut, change the types of bacteria that are present, change the types of products that the bacteria are producing, in the gut and how the immune system responds to what's in the gut, that can have an impact on your skin. So that was the basis of the, of the study. And sure enough, we're seeing that that's happening, 
Now you mentioned the other products. So what we started to see is that we can make significant changes and improvement uh, in people's outcomes, whether it's specifically gut related or peripheral to the gut, things like joint issues, skin issues, cognitive issues, metabolic issues, all of these things that we've been able to effectively um, you know, improve through making modulations in the gut. But then we found that when you add in other components to support the overall system in the gut, you actually get even better responses. So we created a prebiotic product, and a prebiotic is basically very specific types of food for the good bacteria in your gut. So we created something called a precision prebiotic, which is a prebiotic that specifically feeds good bacteria. A lot of the prebiotics on the market are just bacteria food, so they can feed bad bacteria as well as they feed good bacteria. And in the case where you have too much bad bacteria to begin with, if you start taking loads of prebiotics, and they're not precision prebiotics, you can very well feed the unfavorable microbes. And so we went ahead and created this new category called precision prebiotics, where we selected specific types of nutrients that feed only good bacteria. So that goes in conjunction with the, the probiotic, because the probiotic is making all of these changes to the microbial population. It's bringing down the bad bacteria, increasing the good bacteria. The prebiotic comes in and it supports those changes and amplifies the response. Uh, so in fact, the second acne study that we're doing, we're, we're including one of the prebiotics in it. Fantastic. So it's kind of like fertilizer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right? absolutely. That's a great analogy because I always say, uh, if you think of your gut as a garden, right, you, you've each plant in the garden is a different bacteria and you've got a garden with a thousand plants. It's a very complicated ecology. Um, you know, and then you're going to have weeds growing in there. You're going to have, you know, chemical spills and pollutants that come in and kill off the good, uh, good plants. And when the good plants die off, the weeds are going to take over, uh, a probiotic, like the one we work with, the spore based probiotic is like sending in an intelligent gardener that can go into your garden, find the weeds, pull them out and retill the soil to help the good plants grow. And then the prebiotic is like adding fertilizer for all of the good plants that you want to regrow. So having both becomes more effective than having just one by itself. Um, although for the last you know, four or five years, we've been using just the one, um, and now we're seeing that we can enhance all of the beneficial effects when we add the two together. Outstanding. So in closing, and we'll talk next on our next um, microbiome minutes about the other product that you have, but in closing, around the acne research and study, how would you sum it up? Yeah. So what we're seeing is that there are certain bacteria in the gut that tend to be really high in people that don't have acne and tend to be low in people that do have acne. There's one in particular called Rumnococcus. Rumnococcus is a, is a genus of bacteria. There's a few different species that fall in that genus. And, and having high abundance of that particular bacteria in your gut is one of the protective mechanisms behind keeping uh, inflammation, sebum production and all that low in the skin so that you don't develop acne lesions. So that was very interesting to see. And what we saw when we added our probiotic into the, into the gut is that rumenococcus levels went up. And as rumenococcus levels go up, then the acne lesion counts went down. So we saw that direct effect. Then the other part of it is what, are, what, what is the microbiome doing to the, to the fat and lipids in the body? because fat plays a big role in whether or not you develop acne and um, how your acne responds to your diet and so on. So what we're seeing is when we add in the spores, it changes the metabolism of fat in the gut and it changes the types of fatty acids that are being uh, produced in the blood, which has an impact on the overall skin. So the big message here is that you really can't effectively treat the skin without addressing the gut because there's a very strong gut component to how your skin looks. And so, uh, you know, when you, when you just focus on the topical stuff, all the cleansers and toners and all of that stuff, popping blackheads and all that, that's only going to get you so far until you fix the root cause, which is the gut. You're never going to get to the full solution. Wow, I think this is going to help so many people. Thank you so much, Kiran. I'm Welcome. really grateful. And, you know, just as a side note, too, once you're healing the gut, because I've heard all disease starts in the gut, even if you're just doing it for that, for that reason, for acne, it's going to 
create all kinds of healing, right? Throughout the body. It has Absolutely. a very positive effect. Yeah, any one of these things is, is merely a symptom of a bigger dysfunction in the gut, right? So acne is a symptom that there is a dysfunction in the gut. And, and although that symptom is the most prevalent thing on that person's mind because it's a cosmetic issue and it's right there on your face, that can lead to other problems down the road, right? The same kind of dysfunctions in the gut that create a higher abundance of acne can lead to autoimmune disease and metabolic issues and all of these things uh, down the road. It can be even linked to cognitive issues like depression and anxiety. So being able to effectively modulate the microbiome uh, and doing it through dietary changes and so on uh, will, will have an overall improvement in your overall health. Fantastic, Kiron. Thank you so much. Look forward to our next microbiome minute. And uh, please join us again. <laughs>